guys, it's Tim and this is Wrestling Unlimited. So every year since 2008, Pro Wrestling Illustrated has ranked the top female wrestlers in all of professional wrestling. They started with just ranking 50, they went to 100, they went to 150, and last year they bumped it all the way up to 250. With 2024, they've stayed at 250, and on this new list, we have a new number one. So let's check out the top 10 of the PWI 250. Number 10. Athena comes in at number 10, and she spent the last year as the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Athena has been killing it as not just the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, but in my opinion, the pillar of the weekly Ring of Honor television show. Number 9. Mariah May comes in at number 9. She's the current AEW Women's World Champion. She had a great introduction to All Elite Wrestling with Tony Storm, then the amazing storyline of her turning on Tony and winning the title at Wembley. Number 8. Willow Nightingale comes in at number 8 as she had a very solid year this past year. She had a lot of notable matches in AEW and also was a CMLL Women's Champion as well. Number 7. Coming in at number 7 is the 2020 number 1 and that is Bayley. Bayley had a great last year. She had a number of great matches on WWE television, pay-per-views, and even won the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania 41. Number 6. Number six comes to our first international wrestler, now wrestler that wrestles primarily internationally, and that is Suri. Suri had a good start to this year in stardom, but then moved over when they started Marigold. And with Julia not really being a factor in Marigold, she helped start the company and then left for WWE. Suri is the tentpole top star there, and she's been killing it in all those main events. Number five. Number five comes to someone that just debuted for WWE, and that is Stephanie Vakur. Stephanie Vakur had a number of different big title wins this year in CMLL and New Japan Pro Wrestling, and now with the move over to WWE, well, looks like the sky's the limit. Number four. Number four has to go to Micah. Micah has had a great year in stardom, winning the Goddess of Stardom Tag League and also becoming the World of Stardom Champion. Earlier this year, we saw her as the newly reformed Club Venus, changing the name to Empress Nexus Venus, and also won the Artist of Stardom Championship. Number three. Number three goes to last year's number one, and that's Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley had a formidable last year as she was the WWE Women's World Champion for most of the year until, well, losing the championship due to an injury. She hasn't won the title back, but you got to think about that. Would Rhea Ripley still be the champion if she never got hurt? Number two. Number two goes to Jordan Grace. The current TNA Knockouts champion has just been killing it all over everywhere, appearing in multiple big matches for TNA, wrestling in WWE and NXT, and all over the independents. Number one. Number one goes to Tony Storm. And Tony Storm's last year, well, it's been timeless, to say the least. Within the last year, Tony Storm won the AEW Women's World Championship, reinvented herself, and created a character the likes that we've never seen before. Yes, was it controversial? Did some people like it and some people not? But that's the whole point. You don't need everybody to love you. You just need enough. And Tony, I think, did enough to be the number one in 2024. So with that, guys, that is the top 10 for the 2024 PWI 250. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on all these women that made the top 10 and who you think maybe shouldn't have been in the top 10, maybe should have been in instead. And if we look at some of the others that ranked well, number 11 was Roxanne Perez, number 12, Liv Morgan, number 13, EL Sky, 14, Mayu Iwatani, and 15, Masha Slamovich. So again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on the PWI Women's 250.